Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome back to ReneeEnergy.com's YouTube channel. In our previous videos, we've explored various aspects of resource assessment for green hydrogen projects, including data collection and quality control, integration with feasibility analysis, and uncertainty and risk analysis. Today, we'll dive into some inspiring case studies of successful green hydrogen projects from around the world, and highlight the critical role that resource assessment played in their planning, implementation, and operation. These case studies demonstrate the value and impact of rigorous and innovative resource assessment approaches, and provide valuable lessons and best practices for future green hydrogen development. So, let's get started. Our first case study takes us to the heart of the Australian outback, where the Asian Renewable Energy Hub is developing one of the world's largest green hydrogen projects. The project aims to produce up to 1.75 million tons of green hydrogen per year, using a combination of wind and solar energy resources in the Pilbara region of Western Australia. The project's resource assessment team conducted a comprehensive and multi-year analysis of the wind and solar potential in the region, using a combination of on-site measurements, numerical weather models, and satellite data. The wind resource assessment involved the installation of over 20 meteorological masts across the project area, equipped with state-of-the-art sensors and data loggers to measure wind speed, direction, and turbulence at different heights. The data from these masts were used to validate and calibrate a mesoscale numerical weather model, which simulated the wind flow patterns and variability over the entire region at a high spatial and temporal resolution. The model results were then used to estimate the annual energy production and capacity factors of different wind turbine configurations and layouts, and to optimize the siting and sizing of the wind farm. The solar resource assessment, on the other hand, involved the use of satellite-based solar irradiance data, ground-based measurements from a network of pyranometers, and a detailed shading and topographic analysis of the project site. The team used advanced machine learning algorithms to merge and downscale the different data sources, and to generate high-resolution solar potential maps for the entire region. These maps were then used to design and optimize the layout and orientation of the solar PV arrays, and to estimate the expected energy yield and variability of the solar resource. The results of the wind and solar resource assessment were then integrated into a comprehensive techno-economic analysis of the project, which evaluated the feasibility, profitability, and competitiveness of different green hydrogen production and export scenarios. The analysis showed that the Pilbara region has one of the best combined wind and solar resources in the world, with an estimated capacity factor of over 70% for the integrated system. This exceptional resource potential, coupled with the economies of scale and the strategic location of the project near major Asian markets, make the Asian Renewable Energy Hub one of the most promising and ambitious green hydrogen ventures globally. Our second case study takes us to the heart of Europe, where the H2 Future project is demonstrating the feasibility and benefits of green hydrogen production for the steel industry. The project, led by the Austrian utility company Verbund, aims to produce green hydrogen from renewable electricity and use it to replace fossil fuels in the steelmaking process. The project's resource assessment team conducted a detailed analysis of the renewable energy potential in Austria and neighboring countries, using a combination of historical data, numerical models, and stakeholder input. The renewable energy resource assessment involved the compilation and harmonization of long-term wind, solar, and hydropower generation data from various national and regional databases, as well as the simulation of future renewable energy scenarios using state-of-the-art energy system models. The team used advanced data analytics and visualization tools to identify the most promising locations and technologies for green hydrogen production, based on criteria such as resource availability, grid connectivity, and synergies with industrial clusters. The results of the resource assessment were then used to design and optimize the green hydrogen production system, which consists of a 6 MW polymer electrolyte membrane PEM, electrolyzer, powered by renewable electricity from Verbund's hydro and wind power plants. The electrolyzer is capable of producing over 1,200 tons of green hydrogen per year, which is then compressed and transported via pipeline to the Fustalpina steel plant in Linz, where it is used to replace natural gas in the iron ore reduction process. 
the H2 Future Project conducted a detailed life cycle assessment, LCA, and carbon footprint analysis of the green hydrogen production and utilization process, using the results of the resource assessment as key inputs. The LCA showed that the use of green hydrogen in the steel industry can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 80% compared to conventional fossil fuel-based processes, while also providing benefits such as improved energy efficiency, reduced air pollution, and enhanced energy security. The H2 Future Project demonstrates the value of cross-sectoral collaboration and system integration in green hydrogen development, and highlights the importance of rigorous and forward-looking resource assessment in identifying and leveraging the synergies between renewable energy and industrial decarbonization. Our third and final case study takes us to the land of the rising sun, Japan, where the Fukushima Hydrogen Energy Research Field, FH2R, is pioneering the large-scale production and storage of green hydrogen from solar energy. The project, led by the New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, NEDO, aims to accelerate the transition to a hydrogen-based society and to revitalize the Fukushima region after the 2011 nuclear disaster. The FH2R project's resource assessment team conducted a comprehensive analysis of the solar energy potential in the Fukushima prefecture, using a combination of ground-based measurements, satellite data, and numerical simulations. The team installed a network of high-precision pyranometers and all-sky cameras across the region, and collected data on solar irradiance, cloud cover, and atmospheric conditions for over three years. The data from the ground-based measurements were then used to validate and improve the accuracy of satellite-based solar irradiance estimates, using advanced machine learning algorithms and data fusion techniques. The resulting high-resolution solar potential maps were used to identify the most suitable locations for the FH2R project, based on criteria such as land availability, grid connectivity, and local acceptability. The FH2R project consists of a 10 MW solar PV plant, a 20 MW PEM electrolyzer, and a 1,200 kg hydrogen storage system. The solar PV plant generates renewable electricity, which is then used to power the electrolyzer and produce green hydrogen. The hydrogen is compressed and stored in high-pressure tanks, and can be used for various applications such as fuel cell vehicles, power generation, and industrial processes. The FH2R project conducted a detailed techno-economic analysis and feasibility study of the green hydrogen production and utilization process, using the results of the resource assessment as key inputs. The analysis showed that the project can produce green hydrogen at a competitive cost of around $3 per kilogram, and can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by over 10,000 tons per year compared to conventional hydrogen production from natural gas. The FH2R project also conducted a comprehensive safety and risk assessment of the green hydrogen production and storage process, using advanced simulation tools and failure mode and effects analysis FMEA, techniques. The assessment identified potential hazards and failure scenarios, and developed mitigation and emergency response strategies to ensure the safe and reliable operation of the facility. The FH2R project demonstrates the value of combining cutting-edge solar resource assessment with state-of-the-art hydrogen production and storage technologies, and highlights the importance of robust safety and risk management in green hydrogen development. These case studies showcase the diversity and innovation of green hydrogen resource assessment approaches around the world, and provide valuable lessons and best practices for future projects. Some of the key takeaways from these case studies include 1. The importance of using multiple and complementary data sources and methods for resource assessment, such as ground-based measurements, satellite data, and numerical models, to improve the accuracy and reliability of the results. 2. The value of advanced data analytics and machine learning techniques for data fusion, downscaling, and pattern recognition, to extract insights and optimize the resource potential. 3. The need for cross-sectoral collaboration and system integration in green hydrogen development, to identify and leverage the synergies between renewable energy and industrial decarbonization. 4. The importance of conducting comprehensive techno-economic, life cycle, and risk assessments of green hydrogen production and utilization, to ensure the feasibility, sustainability, and safety of the projects. 5. The potential of green hydrogen to provide multiple benefits, such as reducing greenhouse gas emissions, improving energy efficiency and security, and revitalizing local economies and communities. As we wrap up this video, we hope that these case studies have inspired you and provided you with valuable insights into the exciting world of green hydrogen resource assessment. As the global transition to a low carbon and sustainable energy system accelerates, the role of rigorous and innovative resource assessment in green hydrogen development will become even more critical. 
By learning from these success stories and adopting best practices, we can unlock the full potential of green hydrogen as a clean, versatile, and abundant energy carrier, and contribute to a more resilient and prosperous future for all. Thank you for watching this video on case studies of successful green hydrogen resource assessment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to ReneeEnergy.com's YouTube channel for more exciting content on renewable energy and green hydrogen. And if you're interested in learning more about the tools, methods, and best practices of green hydrogen resource assessment, be sure to check out our comprehensive ebook on the topic, available for download in the video description below. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired, and keep exploring the possibilities of a green hydrogen future. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.